Welcome to the loaded cannon. Um, deflated, really, really deflated today because this was such a massive opportunity. This entire week has been such a massive opportunity, and you look at you look at our team and how we've performed at this stage of the season two years ago, last season, and you thought to yourself, have we learned? Have we sort of stepped forward as a team? And and the answer is not enough. You know, we, we've definitely improved as a team. Don't get me wrong. We're not the same as we were two years ago. We're definitely ahead of that. We're not even the same as we were one year ago. But we haven't stepped forward enough. Last two games, for me, have totally now potentially destroyed our season. You know, and... Um, and I was gutted last season when we ended up trophyless because I felt like the team did so much, did so much good stuff that we saw on the pitch. And um, and it just didn't feel right for that team to, to just end up empty-handed. And now I'm feeling that to an even bigger degree because, you know, we've been even better um, this season. We've definitely stepped forward, but like I say, just not enough. Two games played now in the week. Three goals conceded, no goals scored, and we just simply haven't tested our opposition enough. Today I look at Bayern Munich, and um, and look clearly they are a European superpower, and they showed it today. Now, the thing that annoys me, um, because I don't want to be too hard on on Arsenal. Like we're we're a young Champions League team. Like we're a young team, and we're inexperienced in the Champions League, which is what I mean by that. You know, a young Champions League team. And it's going to take a while to build up a head of steam to really do damage in this competition. We saw it with even Pep Guardiola with all of his resources and the brilliant players that he's got. It took him a while. It's not, the Champions League is never a given. But the thing that really disappoints me today is that when Bayern Munich, um, in what is a really, really bad spell for them, not, not playing well at all and just, you know, lost the Bundesliga over the weekend... Um, you kind of think to yourself, come on, Arsenal. Like, now's the time. Now's the time to to strike whilst they're down. And I know that a lot of you will be saying, well, actually, no, it's the opposite, that Bayern have got everything resting on this. So maybe it's not a good time to play them. But, you know, there's never a good time to play Bayern. Never, ever a good time to play Bayern. This season, for me, was that, was that opportunity to say they're not the usual Bayern Munich. And for me, you have to look... Uh, look at it that way rather than saying oh they're going to give everything they've got in this competition you know they'll do that anyway let's be realistic they're going to do that anyway maybe, maybe that adds a little bit to them but overall they're not playing as well as they usually do they're not winning every single week and they should have come into this game Bayern Munich should have come into this game with Arsenal really really sensing that opportunity and putting them under massive pressure and the reality is I think Bayern Munich are going to be sat in the dressing room they'll sit down They'll, they'll say, brilliant, we're in a semi-final. And then they'll say, wasn't that bad today, was it? Wasn't that tough? It didn't really come under mad pressure from Arsenal. And, and that's the bit that disappoints me. There wasn't that level of, like, you know, edge of your seat intensity. At no point in the game was I sort of biting my nails, expecting a goal, really thinking, oh yeah, we're knocking at the door, we're banging it down. At no point in the game did I think that. If anything, I just felt like Bayern Munich, especially second half, looked so, so good. They just looked like they were fully in control. They looked like they were turning the screw. And they did. They got the chance. And they scored the goal with it. Now, look, it's not to say Arsenal didn't have chances. You know, in the first half, there was a Martinelli run. Um, Erdegaard in the second half where, you know, should have been a corner. Even that wasn't a great chance. But I was really, really disappointed with the forward play today. And do you know what I did? I um, I didn't do my match reaction immediately after the game because I wanted to not just be doom and gloom today and I wanted to talk to you with some good news. So I thought, let me tune into extra time, Man City, Real Madrid. And I, I was desperate for Man City to win. Absolutely desperate. Because if Man City goes to the final of the Champions League, it makes more uh, makes it more likely that they might slip up in the Premier League. And Arsenal can then pounce. And, and that's our season saved. I mean, look, I will, not, I will not care about this result. I'll be honest with you. If we win the Premier League for the first time in 20 years, I don't think any of us will. We will take that. Especially now. You know, we'll bite someone's hand off for that. I was desperate for Man City to win. 
desperate for them to go through. But that didn't happen. They lost on penalties, so I can't bring you that good news. The only good news I can bring you, <laughs> this is like, this is reaching, but I'm going to try anyway to put a smile on your face. And if, um, if it does help in any way, smash a like, because, um, because I'm really trying for you here. Otherwise, it is just a doom and gloom week for Arsenal. The only positive I can give you is that with Bayer Leverkusen most likely going to beat West Ham, Liverpool crash, most likely going to be crashing out against Atlanta, Man City out, Arsenal out, it looks like we are not going to get that extra coefficient spot, especially given that Dortmund and Bayern are now in the semi-finals of the Champions League and, you know, um, who can rule out maybe an even all-German final now. And so it looks very, very unlikely that the Premier League is going to get that extra fifth place spot for the Champions League, meaning Tottenham won't get it. That's all I can do. And even that's not guaranteed because, you know, who knows? Who knows what Villa are going to do and, you know. But hey, I'm trying, man. I'm trying to make today not as doom and gloom. As I was saying, I was really, really disappointed with the forward play. When I look at that team and I say to myself, we're in a Champions League quarterfinal and we're going to Bayern Munich. I've had some bad experiences there. Um, I see Harvard up front and Jorginho in midfield. And I, and I think to myself, look, they have been good for us this season. Don't get me wrong. They really have. But is that really what we need today? You know, and some, I don't know what's going on with Thomas Partey, but... I have to admit, even though there's controversy surrounding him and stuff, just on a footballing sense, Thomas Partey is would have filled me with more confidence in that in that spot. Jorginho has been good for this season, but he does not possess the physicality. And it's not a game where we're going to be dominating possession, where his on-the-ball qualities can really, really come to the fore. So I feel like you've got to balance that with fight and physicality and, you know, um, and maybe sacrifice and some of that technical passing ability because you're not going to have as much of the ball. And I think Bayern Munich maybe just shaded the possession. And on top of that, Kai Havertz, you know, I, he, for me, when you have a lot of the ball, he's got the ability to find pockets of space and just appear at the end of like a cross if you're putting in 10, 12 crosses in a game um, and, and sort of just have that about him to, to just pop up when you need it. But he's not clinical. He's not a killer. And he's not going to sort of make that perfect run every single time. I think he's the sort of player that needs you to have the majority of that attacking play in order to be there at the right time. And that's what we've seen from him so far this season. It didn't fill me with confidence. You know, I have to ask myself then, if it wasn't, if it wasn't him and it was Gabriel Jesus, would that have filled me with confidence? Probably slightly more. But when Jesus came on, again, I was disappointed with the attacking play. He dropped far too deep. Given the context of the game when he came on, I was very disappointed by it. Even and, and actually, do you know what? As for Mikel Arteta, to take Martinelli off and Trossard, put him on, and Jorginho off and Jesus on, actually I thought was the right substitutions. But again, disappointed with the forward play. Bakayo Saka um, needed, you know, you know, it's like he didn't do much wrong, but he didn't do enough. And I was even more disappointed with Martinelli because there was a very clear game plan that Arsenal tried to employ today where we were trying to isolate Martinelli on Kimmich. And um, Kimmich won that battle because Tomiyasu was coming in to take the right winger away from Martinelli, to leave him one-on-one. -on -one. And when Martinelli got the ball, he did not do enough. Sometimes you need to say to a winger, look, we'll create the patterns of play to let you go one-on-one -on -one and then just cause havoc. Then you can't coach it. You know, maybe in terms of how he gets the ball, his body position, how he gets the ball, all of that sort of stuff. But ultimately, once you've received that ball and you're on the move, give him hell. Martinelli didn't do that. And if you saw Jeremy Doku today for Man City, obviously they lost the game, right? But he, you know, Carvajal got cramp. He had to go off with cramp. He was the one that created the goal, even though he didn't get the assist because it sort of bounced off Rudiger. But it was relentless, direct, pacey, uh, taking on your man and I felt like that's what Arsenal were lacking today to, to to have one player to really really give their man hell so yeah overall you know Erdegaard it seems like he's doesn't didn't seem like 100% to me he did okay Declan Rice I thought did okay but no one really grabbed the game by the scruff of the neck 
And yeah, unfortunately, that is it. You know, I feel like we know what Arsenal are now. I, I said before the game, no matter what happens today, we're going to learn a lot about Arsenal Football Club. And I think what we learned today is that, look, we can mix it. We can absolutely mix it. We didn't get humiliated. We've gone to Bayern Munich at the Allianz and lost 1-0. That's, uh, there's no, like, um, bottle job conversation to be had. There's no sh sort of, like, embarrassment. It's not the 5-1, is it? But I think what, what we found out today is that, actually, we've probably found our level. We're probably, you know, one of the top 10 clubs in Europe. Um, but actually, it's a bit of a coin toss when we come up against teams like Bayern, uh, you know, team like Inter, Dortmund, Atletico. It's a bit of a coin toss, and we're probably, you know, we're probably just short of the, you know, Man City's, the um, Real Madrid, etc. So listen, it is what it is. I'm really, really disappointed. I'm deflated because I wanted us to at least at least feel like we left everything out on the pitch. And for me, there wasn't enough of that. I'm not, not to say that the players didn't take the effort, but I didn't, I was never on the edge of my seat. I was never pulling my hair out and like, you know, shouting because, because the ball's flashed across the box and someone's an inch away. There wasn't that level of, you know, panic that we caused in the game. And in the first leg, we didn't play with enough, we played with too much emotion. And on this one, maybe it's just what buy and do at home. But we didn't play with enough emotion. And and I felt like we needed more bravery attacking um, attacking Bayern. We didn't get it. That's it. Let me know in the comments below. Is our season over now? Or can we somehow pull out a miracle in the Premier League where Man City now are going to be fully focused on that? That's it from me, as you can tell. Yeah, not exactly in the, in the best of moods after that game. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments below. Take care.